guys, I've brought Josh back in to help me out here. We're going to talk about the, the sucker punch, all right? We're face to face, we're arguing, the hostility is escalating, and the opponent decides he's going to try a nice big sucker punch. So, we're here. This is right where it starts, right? If we're face to face, come a little closer, Josh. Um, we're face to face here, all right? I'm not standing like this, I'm not standing like this, I'm certainly not standing with my hands in my pocket or behind my back. My hands are up. Now, my fists aren't up. If I put my fists up, that's a fight. My hands are as if I was cold or if I was saying a prayer. All right, they're about chin level here. Very unhostile action. My feet are also slightly in a fighting stance. So again, I'm not dropping back, but I'm not just standing square either. I'm slightly staggered with my feet and my hands are up. We're arguing. Now, I'm already ready to defend myself. As the situation escalates and he goes to throw a punch, I smother the punch. I move in on it. How do I move in on it? Let's break that move down to slow-mo. So I'm in, my, I'm, I'm in my posture, right? I'm in my, my starting stance. It begins to escalate. Real slow-mo, that punch starts to come. My hands open, no thumbs, as if I'm diving off a diving board. And I move towards the punch, allowing the punch, the bicep, to hit on my forearm, on the fat part of my forearm. My wrist closes over the back of his tricep, and now my elbow is flared slightly out. All right, so it's not pointed to the floor, it's flared slightly out. I did the same thing on the other side. I don't want to, I don't want to guess which arm he's punching with. So when I move and I dive in, it's with both hands. Now if Josh tries to continue to punch, my elbow creates a great frame to which he can't get through. If, however, my elbow was down and he continued the punch, I'm going to get hit. So my elbow is slightly flared out. All right? We're here. We're arguing. I see the punch coming. I snuff it. I smother it. I move in on it. All right? Now I've got my nice frame where the punch can't continue. The great trick here is with my grip on the back of his tricep, he cannot reload the punch either. So if he tries to pull it back, it's smothered. I've completely snuffed that punch. Rather than, you know, maybe traditional responses of trying to lean back away from it and getting hit, or trying to duck under it, or trying to block it, or trying to block it, all right? We just want to snuff it, smother it, and take away everything. Now, once I've done that, let's build on a previous lesson, all right? So we're here. The argument's escalating. My hands are up. The sucker punch comes. I dive into the pool, and I smother it. Now that I've snuffed the punch, I'm going to move around the side. Belt buckle, hip, knock him forward, step, step, lift, and throw. Okay? Let's shoot it from another angle here. We'll have Josh stand on the other side of me. All right, punch him with the same arm, but we'll, we'll just let you see it from another angle. So the, 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 the situation's escalating, the hostility's escalating. He goes to punch, and I snuff it. Now, my hand passes underneath, and my body follows. Nice little shuffle motion. My belt buckle's in place. I grab the hip, I step, step, and I finish. Okay, one more time from the original angle, and we'll just go through it without any instruction. All right, there you have it, the sucker punch defense. Learn it. At some point, an argument's going to happen, and you're probably going to need this defense. Thanks.